Hello everyone. Welcome to Excel Dash Tally software. Excel Dash Tally software provides you the best Excel to tally integration. It has no monthly cost, just pay once use lifetime features. You can visit our website on www.excel-tally.com to see all the further details of the software here. Today, we are going to see how to import purchase with inventory data using Excel Dash Tally software. Open the folder of the software. Here, we have an application file. When you open the application, you should keep in mind to open the tally simultaneously. I have selected a company in tally, which I need to import the data in. Select the company. Click on the drop down. The company that is open and tally will be selected. Now we will prepare the template. The template is open now. If you have any junk data present here, we have given the option zero clear sheet. When you click on zero clear sheet, all the data from here is removed till the last row. Now we will go with open your file. You need to select your data here. When you open the data here, it opens at the back end. Here you can see first row has all the headings and my data starts from the second row. We have different sheets present here. We need to select the sheet. Put the start row which is 2 in our sheet and end row which is 12 in our sheet. Click on start mapping. The headings that are already there in Excel which matches with the fourth row has come here. Other headings you will get in this drop down. You can even double click here. You can select the headings from here. Once the mapping process is complete, you can click on import data. All the data that we selected is imported now. Now we have given the option connect with tally. When you click on connect with tally, all your ledgers come in sheet 4. You can check these ledgers, they are from tally. In sheet 5, we get all the items. These items are already there in tally. When you click on match ledgers with tally, your ledgers get verified with tally. You can check for an error by giving the space. Software will show you that ledger in red color. This gives you an auto verification for the ledgers. When you double click on the ledger, you get a drop down where you can search for all the ledgers from your tally. You can even select the ledger. Once this is done, we will go to the place of supply. We need the place of supply for GST calculation. Click on import data. It will also be imported here. Now we will go to the GST section. Here all my duties and taxes are to be calculated. I can either go with the mapping option or else we have a create GST ledger button. According to your GST rates, the ledgers are created with the help of place of supply. Put the state port. Select the format that you need and click on create ledgers. Ledgers according to the GST rates and place of supply will be created. Besides this, if you have any extra data, we have given 25 plus extra ledgers to import that data here. My sheet is complete. Save the sheet. Go to the software. In the software, we have given purchase with inventory option. Click on the option. Select the path of your data. Open. 
Here, we have given alter option to alter your entries and validate option to check whatever new things are to be created. If you have any new ledgers that will be created comes under new ledgers. If you have any items, it comes under new items. Let's go with the process. I will click on yes to import the data. My entries are done. You can check the entries and tally. The entries with all the details is imported here. Now, if you feel there is any mistake while doing these entries, you can go with the undo button option in the software. Click on undo. All the entries will be deleted from tally. Make the changes as per your requirement. Go to the software, run the sheet again. Entries are done done successfully again. Thanks for watching the video. The Hello, template everyone. is open. Welcome now. to Excel Dash. If you have software. any junk data present here, Excel Dash Tally we have given the option the best zero clear to tally integration. When you click on zero clear, it has all no the data from cost. here. Is Just remote. pay once in the like last features. Now we will go with open you can your visit file. our website on www. You need to Excel select your data, data here to see all the further details of the software here. When you Today, open the data we are going here, to see it opens at the back purchase with inventory here, data using you can see first row has all the headings and my data starts open from the second of the software. Here, we have different we sheets have an present application here. File. We need to select the sheet. When you open Put the application the row, you should keep which in is mind to in our open sheet the tally and end row, which is twelve in our sheet. I have Click selected a company tally, which I need to the headings the that are already there in select the company which matches Click with on the, the drop down the company that is has open and tally will be other headings you will get in this drop down now we will prepare you the can template even double click here you can select the headings from here once the mapping process is complete you can click on import data all the data that we selected is imported now. Now we have given an option connect with tally. When you click on connect with tally, all your ledgers come in sheet 4. You can check these ledgers, they are from tally. In sheet 5, we get all the items. These items are already there in tally. When you click on match ledgers with tally, your ledgers get verified with tally. You can check for an error by giving the space. Software will show you that ledger in red color. This gives you an auto verification for the ledgers. When you double click on the ledger, you get a drop down where you can search for all the ledgers from your tally. You can even select the ledger.
once this is done we will go to the place of supply we need the place of supply for gst calculation click on import data it will also be imported here now we will go to the gst section here all my duties and taxes are to be calculated i can either go with the mapping option or else we have a create gst ledger button according to your gst rates the ledgers are created with the help of place of supply put the state code select the format that you need and click on create ledgers ledgers according to the gst rates and place of supply will be created Besides this, if you have any extra data, we have given 25 plus extra ledgers to import that data here. My sheet is complete. Save the sheet. Go to the software. In the software, we have given purchase with inventory option. Click on the option. Select the path of your data. Open. Here. We have given alter option to alter your entries and validate option to check whatever new things are to be created. If you have any new ledgers that will be created comes under new ledgers. If you have any items it comes under new items. Let's go with the process. I will click on yes to import the data. My entries are done. You can check the entries and tally. The entries with all the details is imported here. Now, if you feel there is any mistake while doing these entries, you can go with the undo button option in the software. Click on undo. All the entries will be deleted from tally. Make the changes as per your requirement. Go to the software, run the sheet again. Entries are done successfully again. Thanks for watching the video.